Hey everybody and welcome back. Leo Pato TV and thank you very much for tuning in. You are now stepping into another season episode of Reef Tank Addiction. Thank you very much for tuning in. Go ahead and subscribe right now and thank you to all my subscribers. I definitely appreciate it. I've almost hit 10,000 guys. I'm at 8,000 currently right now and I'm climbing my way up to 10,000 which is a huge accomplishment for myself and my whole community that have basically subscribed to me. So thank you. Don't miss the wave subscribe to leo pato tv reef tank addiction we're going to be featuring my buddy's tank right now aaron it's an 80 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank guys i filmed this video about a year ago and looking back at this videos i can't believe i haven't even posted this and shared these videos with you guys and i'm also noti noticing that there's there was snow on the ground when i was going to his house guys and another thing I wanted to point out that the camera that I was using was only filming in 720 which the quality is not the best but bear with me I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy it you guys are gonna learn something definitely hopefully and if you guys have any comments questions concerns feel free to leave them in the comment section down below let's get this bad boy going let's get this bad boy what let's get this bad boy going Woo -boo! <laughs> Like it's our own brother Passing info, learning every day Try something new, maybe a different way Don't succeed the first time, it's okay Start from scratch, yeah, a new tank Hey everybody, welcome back, Leo Pozzo TV, Reef Tank Addiction, and here we are, luckily enough to be at Aaron's house, and Aaron is going to be showing us his 80 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank. Aaron, thank you very much for having us here today, and showing us the ins and outs throughout your tank. I'm very excited to learn about your tank and share with everybody else. So uh, Aaron, why don't you go ahead uh, and introduce yourself a little bit. Okay, thank you Leo for you know give me this opportunity to come to my house and uh, to show my beautiful tank to everybody uh, so my name is Aaron yeah. and uh, uh, I have this uh, saltwater tank for year and a couple months okay and uh, I love this hobby and it's better than smoking and uh, drinking <laughs> <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> yeah I know it's uh, the beginning we go uh, we uh, spend a lot of money on the damage mm -hmm. but eventually once the tank was settled down and it will enjoy the beauty of life exactly so once basically it was a little bit more established it was starting to get a little bit easier to maintain and take care of and you got to sit back and relax a little bit better exactly but in yeah. the beginning it was a little bit more difficult right absolutely okay cool so again uh, this is what size tank again Oh, 80 gallons. 80 gallons. Plus the 30 gallon sump. Okay, so we got a 30 gallon sump. Do you know roughly what dimensions this tank is? It's uh, 120 centimeters. Yeah. And uh, for long, and what I, I couldn't recall, 60. Okay. Around. 60 and centimeters. tall is about 62. Uh, 70, yeah. So okay. Around 70. So roughly, from what I'm guessing, to convert that to inches, it looks like 48 inches, more or less, front to or from left to right. Yep. And tall looks about maybe 20, 22 inches, and back looks about the same, 20 to 22 inches, give or take. Correct. Yeah. Very nice uh, dimensions. It has uh, quite quite the depth. Um, I notice this glass looks super clean and clear. What what type of glass is this? It's called a... Uh, Starfire, right? Yeah, Starfire, yeah. So Starfire glass. Is that all the way around, just the front piece? All the way around. All the way around. Yes. So the sides, the front, and as well as the back is Starfire? Yeah, Starfire too. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah, I bought it from the, the Chinese aquarium store. So China, yeah. oh, Chinese aquarium yeah. store. Okay, yeah. right on. <laughs> well, it does look amazing. Um, at least a good uh, three-eighths to half-inch glass, it looks like. It's right a very here. thick. Very thick glass, yeah. yeah. And... Um, I noticed that you got the, the tank is drilled as well and you have some plumbing so you have a sump so that means the tank is drilled for a drain is that where it is right yeah. there on the yeah. left hand side uh, that's right and the, the plumbing to get pumped back in where's the water getting pumped back in here the back in from the that 
pipe over there. Oh, the left yeah. on the left there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's so it's like going. a three-quarter inch pipe getting uh, pumped back in. Yes. And then the drain is that bigger, like yeah. four-inch pipe there, and it's yes. all kind of housed in there, yeah. which is quite a neat idea. I haven't seen that before, but uh, it's obviously working for you quite well. Okay, fair enough. So why don't you tell us, like, how many pounds of live rock do you actually have in this tank? Uh, 80 pounds plus a few more uh, tiny rocks. Yeah. Okay, so, so about 80 pounds of live rock. Yep. What about the lighting? What type of lighting do you have on this tank? The lighting I bought from the eBay. I think it's manufactured by some Chinese factory. Okay. And uh, 165 watts each. Yeah. So I bought two from eBay. Okay. About uh, 100 or something each. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Are they, uh, are they dimmable? Yeah, dimmable and uh, you can switch on and off for separate between the blue and the, the colorful one. And the, the full spectrum, yeah, the colorful spectrum, one. Yeah. Okay, so it's dimmable, it has a uh, built-in timer I'm assuming? No timer. No timer, so yeah. you gotta set it on your own timer? Yeah, I have own timer I bought from Canadian Tire, yeah. 15 bucks. Okay, perfect, <laughs> so that's doing the job. How, how long do you have your lights on on this tank for a day? So, from uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, yeah. 8.30 at night. But so eight yeah. to nine. So we're pretty much uh, twelve hours. Around. Twelve hours, give or take. Eh? Yeah, but usually around seven thirty, yeah. I would dim to um, like a lower, lower. Okay. Yeah. So you got to manually dim it, or it dims on its own. I I, I manually. Oh, do so it. you manually have to increase it or decrease the uh, yes. the brightness yes. of the lights. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Well, that looks uh, it looks quite nice. Um, not any really algae growth at all. The fish and coral look really happy. You know, when did you start in this hobby? You said uh, like this tank was about a year and a couple of months. Is that when you started with saltwater? No, uh, this is my biggest tank. Okay. Uh, it should be my, my, my latest one too. Okay. My first tank was um, set up in 2013 uh, September. That's my first tank okay. ever. And it's salt water. And what size was that it's one? It's 2.5 gallon. 2.5 gallon. It's in my office. Wow. Desk. So you still have that tank set up yep, here? Yeah, it's still there. in the office. Yeah. Fantastic. So you know what? We'll maybe uh, take a peek at that a little bit later on once we find a little bit more about this sure. 80 gallon here. Um, what's your What's your favorite coral in this tank right now? I like, think right now it's still the letter. The, the letter. The big uh, letter here. Yeah. Okay, so this guy right here in the in the beginning here. Yes. Obviously, yeah. you didn't get it that big when you bought it, right? No, it's about uh, a quarter size. Now well, it's about a quarter of the size of yeah. it. So maybe about three, four inches. Now mm -hmm. it's at least a good ten to twelve inches easy. Yep. And that's it. Actually, is closed up. Uh, you were just telling me previously, um, it. Why is it closed up a little bit more than normally? Yeah, I think the reason I I uh, in in the middle. Uh, I put a sea urchin. Okay. The black color one. Yeah, this long spine sea yeah. urchin. Yeah. Yes. I, he's so strong and he eat a lot of uh, algae on my rocks. Right. So before my rocks are red color or purple. Right. A lot of uh, algae on that. Yeah. And calcium on that. Mm -hmm. But since that guy eating almost all of them, right. my rocks become white. No way. And uh, my blue tang and self and tan, I think they got nothing to eat on the rock. Okay. So they change their taste. Right. So it is my experiences, and then change the taste. They start eating my corals. Right. So they're they're kind of looking for some other uh, food here. Yeah, in you the can tank. see the zoo polys. Yeah, the zoo is there as well. I noticed there's like a little glass bowl on top of that. Yeah, because the blue tang start eating them the one day tang. if I now. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll take a little bit closer look at some of these corals in depth. I'll get the camera here off the stand, and we'll take a closer look at some of these corals and fish. Yeah, but same reason for the the, uh, the latter one. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be bigger, right? And because they are they're picking on them, right? Yeah, they're picking on so, the, the so tentacles and whatnot. Yeah, so the tentacle uh, becomes shorter, and mm -hmm. he he got a little bit not so happy. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, you can see that from the top there, looking from the LEDs, it looks like a nice vibrant green color, right? Yes, yes. Very nice, man. Mm -hmm. It's not too common to see a nice color leather that color there. Cool. F fantastic. So what else do we got to cover? We figured out about the live rock, the size of the tank, the LEDs. What about water changes and maintenance? Like 80 gallon tank, 30 gallon sump. How much water do you change and how often? Yeah, uh, I changed 20. You know we get it every weekend. You know that we don't play. And what I do it ain't no secret. You know that we don't play. I keep it hundred as I leak it. Day by day